from? I bet you he from the country. Cause I always find somebody in the country. Yeah, bitch, they got guns. Girl, he put the, you gave him your gun. Girl, this bitch is so excited. Girl, I never saw this. Girl, look at it. Second Esdras, chapter 15, verse 4. Bring it out. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. He said all the unfaithful should die. in they what? Because of what? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Say you're going to die in your unfaithfulness, man. But how do the Lord make ways where it comes down to you dying, right? And to bring that out. Let me show y'all. Hold on to that. In the book of uh, Saret, Saret, uh, Saret chapter 39, and starting, uh, uh, starting at verse uh, 28. Bring it out. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fairy lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You see? Saying that the Lord, he got spirits that are evil, right? And these spirits that are evil, he will allow those evil spirits to consume you, man. He will let an evil spirit to come upon this person. And this person, like, they get someone in mind and they like, you know what? I want to turn around and shoot up a school. Or, oh, I want to turn around and, 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 and shoot up a market. Or, oh, I want to turn around and shoot up these people who are down South Street. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Those are evil spirits that are falling upon those who are making themselves to not cleave unto the ways of the Lord. They're destroying themselves. What's going on with you young brothers? Show the warm to y'all. You see? And this is the truth. And our people are in these places, okay? And they're adapting to this system. And now realizing at the end of the day, it's not only that they're destroying themselves, but they're also in place of being used by Hashatan, meaning Satan, to be as a devil and being that unto your people. Come on. Destroying your own people. You could go down and shoot off a whole entire crowd of people, but you can't take the time and sit back and think on how to build when it comes down to dealing with your people. At least on those matters. You see? You see? And these things are true. But it shows you how the most high is in control of all of these things. Like when it's spoken in Isaiah chapter 45 and 7, man. He's in control of all these things. The things that are good and the things that are evil. So out of your unfaithfulness, you're going to die in your unfaithfulness. And what he's going to do? He's going to allow them evil spirits to come upon you or either come upon somebody around you to take your ass out. Ah. And that's a fact. And there is a harsh judgment that the Lord is going to allow to happen that's going to be set upon a lot of the females. The daughters of Zion. Okay? The men are not exempt, but you're going to see it happening towards the women. Because they play an important role in this, and instead of them following after the image of the man that's in their life, or a man that has been in their lives, who's been good, right? They seek after the image of the whore of Babylon and try to follow that. And on top of that, what do they always say? Even some women in the troop, they go, I don't need a man, I need the Lord. I but, need the Lord. But yep. if you can't deal with a man, man you can't, can't deal with the Lord. Lord. <laughs> That's you know right. The, like, Lord ain't, the Lord ain't dealing with you. Like there was a woman. That's a fact. They, was, the Lord ain't dealing with you. You remember that woman? There was a woman in uh, in the scripture that she was like always worshiping faithfully and everything. But mm -hmm. you think she didn't respect the priest if she was doing that? Mm -hmm. Come on, God. You know Saying that she do her place. Exactly. You see, a lot of the women that's in Babylon right now, they don't know they fucking place, man. And the Lord gonna turn around and bring that order back, but it's gonna start off with these judgments, man. And these judgments are gonna come down. Yes, it's starting off in the house of Israel, uh. okay? You so-called blacks, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans. You women who are connected to that seed line, hey man, that judgment is gonna be set upon you. Matter of fact, it's already upon you. 
But the more, the more you keep on making it yourself to be rebellious and you're doing the things that you're doing, especially to a man of the Lord. Hey, man, the Lord gonna fuck you up, man. Y'all think, think it's gonna be a hot girl summer? The Lord about to turn that shit down. It's gonna be a cold fucking summer for you. And that's the truth. It's gonna be a cold summer. The only heat that you're gonna feel is when it's set upon you, when it comes down to destruction. And that's gonna be a cold one. 